So you want to be a Texas realtor. Hi, my name is Vanda Crosley. There are a lot of people that tell me that they want to become a realtor in the state of Texas. So I thought I'd do this video so that I can let you know how that process goes, how much it costs, your potential income, and the commitment that it's going to take to do that. So there are a few things that you have to know, what it takes to get licensed, the cost involved, the ongoing fees, and the commitment it's going to take to be successful. So Houston is growing. In 2015, there was 6.5 million people here and it's eight counties in the region. So needless to say, <laughs> we do a lot of driving down here in Houston. So unless you concentrate on a certain area, you, you can do a lot of driving. So out here is like far Harris County, like Katy, Texas. Down here, we have Pearland, Texas. Over here, we have Pasadena. We have the woodlands up here, we have spring. So there are people that wanna to come to Houston, but they don't necessarily wanna be in the inner city. Maybe they wanna be on the outskirts or some of these other counties. We have Montgomery County, Waller County, Fort Bend County, not my phone, uh, Brazoria County, Galveston County. Down here, we have the water. Uh, down in Galveston Bay. So I just wanted you to know that it's big. Houston is big. Texas is big. So by 2040, they expect 10 million people to be here. There are a lot of people coming here from New York, California, Arizona, from Chicago. I came here from Chicago. A lot of people relocating down here. I think because they have air conditioning now, a lot of people want to get away from the um, cold from the north and come down here where it's you know nice most of the year. You know, we do have a couple of weeks where it's a little chilly, but most of the time it's pretty nice. Today it's um this is December, no, this is February, and it's 70 degrees but it did get down in the 30s a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, um, more people are coming here and we're getting a higher density. Uh, a lot of these counties, like in 2010, it looked like this. By 2040, they expect the population to be booming. So there's a lot of new construction going on in these outer areas here. So with growth comes congestion. 2018, they had, um, this was the congested areas here in red. People doing that commute in the morning and the evening time. By 2014, it's estimated peak congestion to be even more. Now, because of the pandemic, there are a lot of people now that are working from home a few days, so it may not be quite as bad, but as you can see, it's still growing. And like I mentioned before, the sheer size of Houston makes it a great place to do real estate in. So give me an example of the size. Houston is only 669 square miles. Dallas is 386 square miles, where New York is 468 square miles. Chicago, it's 234 square miles, but Harris County alone is 1,777 square miles, and the whole state of Rhode Island is 1,212 square miles. So Houston may be the um, fourth largest city behind New York, LA, Chicago, and then Houston, but Chicago has people on top of each other. There's a lot of you know, high rise buildings and two flats and four flats and really close together. Whereas down here, we're more spread out. So make sure you have a very good working automobile. <laughs> and here's again, a little, a little demonstration about the five girls in New York and the size versus Houston area right here. So, I'm doing a recording. 
So um, Houston versus New York and New Jersey. Here we are in Queens, Brooklyn, Newark, Manhattan, Hackensack. Houston fits all of that. <laughs> so if you're a realtor in Brooklyn, you don't have to go that far. But you're a realtor here and you have a client that wants to see a house here, you know, you're driving all the way across town. It'd take you an hour, 45 minutes to get there. And then here's another example of Houston versus Rhode Island. So what you need to be a realtor, I should have put a dependable car on there first. <laughs> but first you have to enroll in a class. You have to take six 30 hour classes that are required for Texas. There are different schools you can go to. Real Estate U is 100% online. It's $249 for each of the classes. And then after each class, you have to take a test, which is $50. So it's a total of $549. Then there's Champion School of Real Estate. A lot of people go there, they have it in person, they have online, they have the hybrid, and that cost is $980. And then there's Real Estate Express, they're $478. And it's 100% online. And there are a ton of other options that are out there. I just kind of want to give you an overview of, you know, you can get your license for less than $1,000. So once you get your license, you have to create an account at trek.texas.gov and submit your $185 application fee. You need to study, study, and study some more. <laughs> YouTube has some great exam prep channels. So what I did was I went through online, I did the book, did, took the test, and then I went online to some YouTube people and then they kind of um, went over some of the key points that were going to be on the test. Of course, they never know exactly what's going to be on the test, but the concepts. So you have to understand a lot of this new terminology. You kind of feel like you're um, going to be a lawyer because of all the contract laws and this law and that law and things like that that you're going to be learning. So study, 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 and study some more. And you sign up for your uh, state text test at a Pearson View Testing Center. The testing fee is $45 and you have to pass with 70%. If you pass with 71, that's fine. If you pass with 80, that's great. But nobody's ever going to ask you what score you got when you pass. I don't even think, no, nope, they didn't tell me what my score was. You either get on there, pass or fail. So mine passed and we left it at that. Okay, so you also have to get fingerprinted. They want to make sure that you're a not a criminal. You know, you're going to be dealing with people. The most important purchase of most people's lives is going to be their property. And you're going to be, you know, either selling it or helping them purchase it. So they want to make sure you're a good person. You don't have a criminal background. The finger, fingerprinting fee is $41.45. And they also do a background check. Includes your criminal history and an FBI check that's going to be required as well. So you've passed. Now you're an inactive sales agent. So to become an active sales agent, you need to be sponsored by a broker. The broker is the person that holds the responsibility of you out there doing these transactions. They make sure you're educated, Make sure you've got the proper um, insurance for errors and omissions, liability, things like that. And they're your guide and your teacher as this is a very new process. You just can't get a license and go out there and sell a house. You have to be sponsored by a broker. So the cost of having a business in Houston, Texas, I can only count, I can only talk about that state. There's different and you're in New York, I'm sure it's different somewhere else. I can only talk about Texas. So the Houston Association of Realtors, we call HAR, H-A-R, the fee is $132 and that's paid yearly. 
We also have to be a member of the Texas Association of Realtors. That's TAR, that's $152, and that's also yearly. And my broker requires us to be members of the National Association of Realtors, which is NAR. So you got NAR, TAR, and HAR. <laughs> NAR is $185, and we pay that yearly. So in December, $469 is due to be paid. So your MLS fees, that's the multiple listing service so that when we go into the system, we can look for a three bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, two bath house in zip code 77077. See what's out there. That's called a multiple listing service. It's $35 and that's paid um, quarterly. It's $35 a month that we pay it quarterly. Then there's a super fee. Super is the box that is on the door so that you can get in. Some agents use it, some agents don't. But you never know if you're gonna need it until you make the appointment and they tell you it's on Super. So it's an app on your phone or you can get a separate key called Super and you put your, your code in and it goes through Bluetooth and it opens it up and then your key falls out and that's how you get access into the home. And at EXP Realty, we pay $85 for our brokerage fee. Now, brokerage fees with different other companies can range between zero. There are some that don't charge any fees, and there are some that charge up to 50%. We're on a 80-20 split. Um, that means when I make a transaction with EXP until I cap at 16,000, which means I've given them 16,000. I have to give them 20% of my transaction. So if you go with a brokerage that doesn't charge any fees, they are still gonna charge you something for the transaction, but you're just not gonna get the support and the training and everything that you get for a company that charges you more. So I've never been with another brokerage. I've interviewed with other ones and I didn't like what I heard. So I'm an EXP, I'm very happy. So in that, our fee that we pay to EXP, there's a CRM, which is a customer relationship management. Ours is KB Core. Um, you're gonna need that. How are you gonna keep up with all the people that you have coming into your, um, your website? So you know who to call, who to follow up with. You know, you can't keep all of that on a spreadsheet. It could be very convoluted. Plus we've got modern technology now, so why not use it? And then, you, um, there are marketing, there are mail outs, there are social media. If you do any marketing on Facebook, or Instagram, or LinkedIn, and you have to pay for that. Uh, if you have events, if you do gifts, closing gifts, networking events. So that can vary depending on what you do, but you definitely should put some money into marketing. And no one would know who, who you are or what you do without some kind of marketing. You don't want to be a secret agent. And then you have continuing education. So every two years, we have to renew here in Texas every two years. We have to have legal one, legal two, and ethics. We want to make sure we know to be ethical and we know any new laws that have come out. So that's required every two years. There are sometimes you can find these classes free, complimentary by some title companies or insurance companies or other uh, brokerages that may uh, offer that. That's fine. There are some that you can't get for free. So uh, legal classes are worth four hours and worth four CEUs. Uh, you must have 20 CEUs every two years before you can even renew your license. So if you get licensed, as a Texas realtor in 2022, before you can renew in 2024, your first time, you have to take a 90 hour SAE course, sales agent education. So it's kind of like you're going back to school again because they figure you probably didn't learn a lot. I mean, you learned enough to pass, but if you're really not using it, you forget and you know, so in Texas, that's what they make us do. So I suggest that as soon as you pass, get your, you know, get up and going, 
start taking those 90 hour courses because 90 hours, you know, that's, that's a lot, it's a lot of hours. You don't want to wait until your last month for renewal to try to get in your 90 hours because that's stressful and we don't like stress. Okay, so how much money can you make? Now, according to NAR, National Association of Realtors, the, the average agent makes about $43,330. Nationally, in Texas, the average agent makes about $93,000. So this takes into account um, full-time realtors, part-time realtors, uh, realtors that are in rural areas, realtors that maybe don't have a high price point. Like if you're in Detroit and you're selling houses for $30,000, you know, versus if you're in New York or LA and you're selling houses for a million dollars. So you have to take all that in consideration. As I mentioned, your fee after commission splits 80-20. An example is if the house costs 300,000 and you get a 3% commission, you, this is 1,800 is the 20% that goes to um, the brokerage so you would take home 7,200. On a $400,000 property, if you get 4%, you'll take home $12,800. $12, but you got to remember to take out for your taxes and marketing. A lot of agents get in there, they take that money and they just spend it, blow it, whatever. And then the tax man cometh, and then you owe the IRS some money. Ask me how I'm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, why well, I joined EXP Realty and more ways to get paid. The transaction EXP is 80-20 until you cap at 16,000 a year, then it's 100%. They also have a great mentoring program. They help, the mentor helps the agent get their first three transactions and we pay 10% for the first three transactions of the mentor. We have equity ownership in the company. We can purchase stock with each transaction at a 10% discount. So I'm actually an owner in EXP Realty. They have a retirement plan. My stock is growing faster than my 401k is growing. So that's kind of my exit plan because I don't intend to use my super and be opening doors when I'm 70 years old. And we have revenue share, which is agent equity and residual income. So you're kind of building a company within a company. So if I attract people to come to EXP in my revenue share, we're, I'm building my own company within a company, but they're all still independent contractors. We're cloud-based, no office needed. We have EXP World. I'm in my home office now. I go out and I talk to my clients at a house, we may meet at a coffee shop if we need to. There's no need to go into an office. And we have training. We have daily and on-demand training. So the training that's done daily, they also record it. And we have where we can go into the world and listen to the training. And we're an international company. We're in all 50 states and seven countries and county. We may be in more than seven now. I think I have to check. I think it might be 11. And then we just got into Brazil. Um, where else? There's a few other ones. Overview of one of the most innovative real estate brokers. So I'm going to give, this is a quick agent presentation. It's only nine minutes long. Which models today, a global community designed, powered, and owned by our agents and partners, transforming the real estate experience. Our family of agents build their own businesses while having equity opportunities in EXP World Holdings. As technology has transformed entertainment, transportation, communications, and retail, it is now transforming the real estate industry. 
EXP Realty started a technology revolution 10 years ago with its highly innovative 3D, fully immersive cloud office environment that offers our agents 24. This is what our office looks like. We're avatars in our office. Or seven access to collaborative tools, training, and socialization. EXP Realty continues to experience record-breaking year-over-year growth. EXP has recently launched South Africa, Mexico, Portugal, India, and France with plans to further expand across the world. Our core values define our culture and ensure decisions are always aligned. For example, being agile allows us to make adjustments at any time for our agents and their clients. EXP is at the forefront of technology. Every agent gets their only generation CRM system called KV Core. For a non-EXP agent, it could cost over $400 per month. This industry-leading system provides you with a personalized IDX website, CRM, email and text campaigns, squeeze pages, landing pages, and more. Always know when consumers are viewing listings on your website. Having a tool like this to manage and stay in front of your contacts is crucial to the growth of your business. Skyslope allows agents to manage their business totally paperless. This all-in-one transaction management system helps you effortlessly stay organized with your transactions. All of your important data is contained on one detailed checklist, so you have everything in one place. One of our top priorities is building our own technology. Our EXP Enterprise Business Intelligence Center gives agents both autonomy and great visibility into their metrics. In addition, the system offers comprehensive business intelligence insights that are imperative to your success. Within your dashboard, you'll be able to monitor your performance metrics, commissions, revenue share, equity awards, transactions, and more. Whether you need a quick postcard or a full presentation, the EXP Marketing Center has it all. You can edit marketing collateral within minutes by choosing from over 5,000 marketing pieces. In fact, when a new listing is added to your MLS, you'll receive an email with 10 marketing items created automatically for your listing. Welcome to EXP World, our three-dimensional virtual cloud-based office environment. Meet, learn, and collaborate with agents and support staff from anywhere with an internet connection. Join a meeting or training within our community via your phone, tablet, or computer. In EXP World, agents get real-time live support from our over 400 full-time staff members. Access over 80 hours of new live training weekly in EXP World. Our training focuses on industry best practices, how to grow a profitable real estate business, professional development, and much more. These sessions are taught not only by our highly experienced training department professionals, but also by our top producing agents and teams from around the world. EXP believes that your career is your brand. There is nothing more important to your business than you. That's why we allow agents and independent brokerages to self-brand as long as they're following state laws. EXP Realty agents also have access to Workplace by Facebook, which is a dedicated and secure working space to connect, communicate, and collaborate with other agents and EXP staff. You will be able to use familiar Facebook features like newsfeed, groups, messages, and events to get things done quickly and efficiently. We understand that some agents enjoy the office setting from time to time which is why every agent at EXP gets a global membership to Regis shared offices and their new brand, Spaces. Regis offers 3,000 office locations in over 900 cities in 120 countries. Every agent at EXP has the opportunity to become a shareholder in EXP World Holdings. Each year, capping each year, and every time an agent you attract joins EXP and does their first transaction. Additionally, our agent equity program helps agents prepare for retirement. You may elect to take 5% of your gross commission per transaction and buy the company stock at a 10% discount. Our ticker symbol is EXPI. Note that some stock awards are subject to vesting. EXP's Icon Agent program is unmatched within the industry. Our founder, Glenn Sanford, strongly believes that top producing agents should be rewarded for their contribution. There are two ways to qualify for ICON status, $5,000 paid in post-cap transaction fees or $500,000 annual GCI with a minimum of 10 closed transactions. When you achieve ICON status, you'll receive 100% of your cap that you paid to EXP back in the form of company stock, essentially putting you at a 100% commission split. 
one of the most exciting aspects of compensation plan is our revenue sharing model, which allows you to build a monthly leveraged income by attracting productive Here's a breakdown of revenue sharing agents that you personally attracted to the brokerage. For each commission on this tier, you will receive 3.5% of their total commission. This amount is taken out of EXP's 20%, not the agent's 80% commission. Once the agent has hit their annual cap, they start receiving 100% of their commissions. You therefore no longer receive income from their deals for the remainder of the year, which is why the max you can earn on this tier per agent is $2,800. You can earn on all seven tiers, but it's contingent upon how many agents you've personally attracted to the brokerage and their level of production. For example, if you attract five producing agents, you earn on tier one and tier two, which are agents that your tier one agents attracted. If you attract 10 producing agents, you earn on tier one, tier two, and also on tier three, which are agents that your tier two agents attracted, but not on tiers four through seven. Let's go through a quick example of how you can create a monthly leveraged income through the revenue share program. Here is you. You personally attract five capping agents. Then each of those five agents attract five capping agents of their own, giving you five agents on tier one and 25 agents on tier two. For the five capping agents on tier one, you earn up to $2,800 each. And for the 25 capping agents on tier two, you earn up to 3,200 each giving you an annual leveraged income of up to $94,000. Please note that these figures are based on each one of these agents capping, which is approximately selling $2.7 million of real estate per year with an average commission of 3%. Speak to an EXP agent or staff member for further explanation. Intro Lend is a groundbreaking new way for real estate professionals to initiate the mortgage application and pre-qualification phase of the home buying experience. The platform allows agents to gain back control of the transaction, provide their customers with a competitive mortgage, and at the same time, enjoy a RESPA compliant quarterly earnings dividend through their ownership interest in IntroLend. Express Offers is a revolutionary new home selling option for homeowners who would like to skip the hassle and uncertainty of a traditional home sale. The platform connects sellers with institutional buyers who can pay in cash and close quickly. Unlike other iBuyer platforms, Express Offers allows agents to receive real estate commissions. At eXp, you'll never pay a desk fee, royalty fee, or franchise fee. Every agent is treated equally and is on an 80-20 split, which caps each year at $16,000. You then receive 100% commission for the remainder of your year. It's only $149 to join eXp, and that includes your first month's $85 brokerage fee. On each transaction, there is a $25 broker review fee and a $40 risk management fee. The risk management fee caps at $500 each year. We're also excited to announce that we've added an innovative, low-cost healthcare alternative for our agents. Traditional real estate brokerages offer only one way to earn income, commissions from property sales. To recap, eXp Realty offers you seven ways to earn income. Buy and sell commissions, stock purchases and awards, Agent Attraction Revenue Share, Express Offers Buy and Sell Commissions, Express Offers I Buyer Referral Commissions, Intro Lend First Cloud Quarterly Dividends, and Foreign Currency Exchange Commissions. Other income options are currently in development. We appreciate you taking the time to review our exciting agent opportunity. For more information, please reach out to the So this is an actual commission breakdown. Sales price of this was $420,000. Um, I was paid at the table, which means um, the title company, we use title companies here in Texas. Title company was able to wire my money directly to, the, to my account, or I could have asked them to give me a paper check. So in this particular one, the uh, my commission was $12,600. There was no bonus. There was no concession. Concession would mean maybe I was paying for something for the, uh, the buyer, maybe the home warranty or you know, anything could be. Um, like with my daughter, I gave her 4000 back. So that was my concession. So that came out of my, my um, commission, but 
because I have it paid at the table, I didn't have to pay taxes on that money because I actually never received it. So that's a good thing about doing that. So let's see, um, agent split for expenses the same. So EXP received $2,520. I had to pay a risk management fee, $40. And then there's a broker review fee of $25. So my total deduction is $2,585. So my commission was $10,015 because I'm a participant in the stock plan. It, uh, it costs $575. So that's going into my retirement. And now the real fun begins. One thing that you definitely have to do is develop your mindset. You have to have it in your mind that you are going to be successful. You can't say, well, if it doesn't work out, I'll go back and do such and such. You can't go in there with that mindset. You have to have the mindset of it's going to work out. It's going to work out. I just have to keep doing it. And then marketing your brand. As he mentioned, with EXP, you can brand yourself. As long as you have the EXP logo somewhere and you mentioned that you're uh, brokered by EXP, you can be whatever you want it to be. You can be smart relocate, you can be, uh, mine is just my name. My, I, I feel like I have a very unique name. So my name is, you know, Vanda Crosley is who I am. Uh, you also have to build relationships with people. People don't buy from you just because of your name. You know, they wanna see you out doing things. They wanna have a relationship with you. They wanna feel like they know you. Um, so when people contact me, I, I want to have a conversation with you. Let's talk about stuff. I don't just, you can't just call me and say, hey, I want to see this house and I'm going to go run and take, <laughs> take you there. It doesn't work like that. Plus for safety issues, safety reasons, you don't want to be out there with strangers like that. And you also want to provide value. You want to educate them on maybe the home buying process, the home selling process. Um, give them something that, that they can value. And give, of course, exceptional customer care, return their calls, things like that, return the emails, communicate. Those are things that go, should go without saying, but you'd be surprised at those realtors that don't do that. And that's probably another reason why a lot of them do not make it past two years. And then you have to keep up with the market. So I send um, out market reports for whatever area that people are looking for through my KB Core. And, you know, I have to look at it and kind of look at it. I have to know what the trends are going up, if they're going down, you know, what's going on in the market because people will ask you. And then you also have to learn how to run a real estate business because you are in business. You're not just a realtor. You have a business now. Home-based business, you can deduct mileage. You can deduct your home office. You can deduct uh, part of your utilities, things like that in the of course, the list goes on and on. Of course, I'm not a CPA or attorney, so please talk with them about what you can deduct. But because you have a business, you, you, get, you, know, you get business write-offs and you have to keep up with your transactions. What's coming in? What's going out? What was this for? So you know if you're running a profitable business or not. You don't want to spend out more than you're making. And if you have any questions, here is my contact information, 773-678-1085. Yes, that is a Chicago exchange. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I'm sticking with it. And of course, my email is bandacrossy.com. And of course, I am on social media, not as much as I like to be, but <laughs> I am here. I have Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I won't even put anything about Twitter and Snapchat and all that other stuff up there, but um, it's, it's just too much for me to keep up with. But if you want to meet me, uh, talk with me, I have a Calendly, Calendly link. So you can click that link and make an appointment with me, or you can call me or text me, either one. So I hope I've been helpful to you to let you know what it takes to become a realtor here in the state of Texas. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. All right, bye-bye, have a good day.